So you guys may have seen recently in the news that there was this giraffe born at a zoo without spots. And I didn't realize a lot of people didn't know this. Giraffes and zebras are not actually supposed to have any spots or stripes. My name is Matt. I did field research in the Serengeti for about three years. Giraffes and zebras are very closely related to horses. They're only slightly different. They're not supposed to have any patterns on their skin. Actually, pre-1930s, they didn't have any patterns. But what the governments of Africa decided in order to increase tourism, get more people to visit the area, they wanted to jazz up some of the animals a little bit, right? No one's going to come travel. Back, back in the day, it took you have to go by boat. No one's going to travel for days to see a, a goofy-looking horse that's brown and has a long neck. They don't want to see that. So they asked some scientists if they could figure things out, and they actually figured out that they could add patterns onto the skins of these animals. One of the patterns they tried out was camouflage. They made the entire giraffe skin camouflage, which looked cool. The problem was they kept losing them. They would let them go free, and then they could never find them again. So they had to scratch that pretty quickly. Another one they tried, uh, they thought tourists might get bored just looking at giraffes eating leaves all day. So they were able to breed them with these mazes on their skin. Unfortunately, a lot of the mazes didn't have solutions, and the tourists would try to solve them, and they'd get very upset when they realized they were being punked the whole time and they would ask for refunds on their safari visits. So that didn't really work out too well. Another one of the weirder ones, uh, in order to attract wealthy Americans, they actually, every giraffe for a period of a few months was born with a picture of Charles Lindbergh on its chest, the famous aviator, a big celebrity in the day. Uh, it, it, people were creeped out. It was very weird. They were experimenting with a lot of stuff. Obviously, they, they went through some trial and error, but eventually they settled on the spots we know and love today. So the next time you're talking about GMOs, like your tomatoes, your corn, your seedless watermelons, just know giraffes belong in that category too. Giraffes, zebras, tons of other animals. They're all messed up. They're all weird. History, scientists have done a lot of weird stuff, guys.